There appears to be regional revolt against the Caribbean Examinations Council, CXC, following the release of CSEC and CAPE results this week. Some students have pointed to widespread anomalies in the grading process and are demanding a review. From Guyana to Trinidad, Barbados to St. Lucia and right here in Jamaica, the calls have been growing for a review of the 2020 CSEC and CAPE exams. In fact, hundreds of students from all over the region have taken to change.org, asking affected candidates to sign several petitions, which will be presented to the Caribbean Examinations Body located in Barbados. Students and parents have also taken to CXC's social media pages, where they've also voiced their discontent. So let's go back to August 11. CXE Registrar Dr. Wayne Wesley explained in this YouTube video changes to the grading and format of the exams. The determination of grades will be modeled to account for the performance according to the candidate's competence on each profile. There is no adjustment to weighting of papers since the modified approach being used excluded the paper too. The trends in teacher predictions over the previous years will be used to determine if the grade awarded is fair to the candidates. Fast forward to this week where CXC officials announced candidates sitting this year's exams attained acceptable results, but scores of students are rejecting the results and complain that in several cases, the grades do not accurately reflect their performance in the exams. Another complaint is that students received marks that did not match their SBA, and in the case of CAPE, the IA grades. Some students who submitted SBAs and wrote the exams also complained that they were ungraded. Dr. Kassan Troop is the acting chief education officer in the Ministry of Education. From time to time, we have some of these challenges, and there is a method in place to treat with all of these. So we are, we are assuring our parents, our students, these will be addressed, and the best decisions will be taken in your interest. And as we said earlier from our minister, these results are preliminary, and so more detailed reviews will be done before the final result is published. The ministers of education in Barbados and Trinidad have called on CXC to conduct an urgent investigation into the concerns. Meanwhile, CXC says candidates who have questions about an absent or ungraded result can submit a query. And if a candidate wishes to have a script re-examined, they may submit a request for a review by October 23. The review will cost students 30 U.S. dollars. Now, meanwhile, CXC Registrar Dr. Wayne Wesley, speaking a short while ago on Radio Jamaica's Beyond the Headlines, told Dion Jackson Miller the issues are not as widespread as it's being made out to be. CXC cannot process what it has not received. However, where we recognize that we have not received it, we have placed ungraded there, and the queries can be made, but we are actually working with the Ministry of Education and the requisite local registrar to say where you have these. Because if students, if they were submitted and they have them, uh, we are working with them now to rectify those, those challenges. And, and those things, a simple query without any cost, we will address that. But even without the query, those students who have legitimately submitted their SBAs, but for some reason or another, it was not transmitted to CHC for grading. We are working now to have those issues rectified.